had some requests for a system overview and unfortunately this is the only way I can get the entire system in. Apologize for the angle of the shot, but it has to be what it is. Um, everything I'm going to show you right now is listed in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and buy these items. There's also a link to my blog and from there there's a link to an Amazon wish list which has them all listed out. So you can clearly see the pricing, get a total for it, and it's all right there. Very, very convenient. But to start with, I begin with a concrete backer board. That back wall is drywall. The concrete backer board gives me an additional uh, element of fire protection, very important to me. Next step is the batteries. We've got four 100 amp hour ampere time batteries connected in parallel. 12 volt, 400 amps, just over 5,100 watts of power. That is charged by this Victron controller, which will handle up to 290 watts coming in on solar at 12 volts. And that feeds down to the batteries through these two bus bars. And then the batteries in turn go back up and feed this inverter, which is rated for 2200 watts with a little bit of a spike. Since the inverter will do 2200 watts, my cables coming off the system, the power and the negative here, our 1AWG that will allow for 1920 watts or 150 amps. With that many amps coming through, the system is fused here at 175 and has a breaker here right at 150, so the wires are never overloaded. Um, the battery status is given to me by this Victron shunt, which gives me state of charge, uh, current statistics, tells me everything I need to know about these batteries, and the shunt and the controller both feed this Servo GX. That Servo GX is connected to my internet router, which means I can get these statistics and my current status from anywhere in the world 24 hours a day. And that is the basic system. Um, I additionally have this shutoff, which you don't need. That's a manual shutoff. For you, I prefer this because it triggers based on voltage. That's more of a marine requirement. You don't need that. And then the only other thing that I've added to the main system is right here. This transfer switch, which we're going to cover in a later video, that's fantastic for uh, battery protection and also extending the life of them. But that is it, guys. That is the total system. Again, you'll find description uh, in the description, all these items with a link for you to purchase. And if you want, you can go to that wish list, which will show you them all in order on Amazon. Gives you a great idea of the overall cost. Um, and please uh, subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. I will have more coming out. And that is greatly appreciated. Thanks again, guys.